if you're a beginner just starting out on auto and you want to move more to manual but you are scared you are daunted by shooting in manual then i want to tell you that that doesn't have to be true and that doesn't have to be so because aperture priority is better than manual now hear me out before you go into the comment section and comment something negative listen if you're a beginner just starting out in photography and you're struggling to move to manual because you're shooting in auto then aperture priority is going to be your best bet because aperture priority you set your camera's aperture which is arguably one of the best settings and most important camera settings you set your aperture and then your camera handles your iso and shutter speed meaning that you get perfect exposure but you control the aperture your camera will change your shutter speed and iso based on what your aperture is to accommodate for that change the reason why i believe aperture is better for manual especially for beginners who are just starting out in photography let's say you do sports photography for example so you're outside the lighting changes quite a bit and there's a lot of movement then aperture priority is going to be very useful because it means that you don't have to have to think about changing your exposure of your image as you're taking the photo it means you can focus your attention more on the actual image itself rather than thinking of your camera settings which means that you'll get better photos because your mind is immersified in your photo taking rather than your settings it's way quicker and more convenient when your camera's exposure changes automatically so i agree that auto is not a professional setting like it's very weak to be using automatic because you don't have control over your image and how your photos look but then if you actually change your aperture then now your camera will accommodate and make changes for the rest of your images so that you can still get a correct exposure while you have some control of your camera settings right now i'm actually shooting in aperture priority Priority. so as you can see I set my aperture to f1.8 on the 50 mil f1.8 the background is absolutely blurry and it looks so creamy and, and good <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a word but in any way <laughs> so you have a nice consistent exposure when you shoot an aperture pri priority without having to think about changing your exposure changing your light changing your image and changing the quality changing your setting it's just it's so you have so much more control without having to worry about anything now you can actually focus on the actual important stuff which is the creative aspects of photography rather than thinking of this lower level thoughts of are my cameras is it exposed nicely now you're not worried about lower thought processes you're actually thinking about higher thought processes which is your creative ability which means that you'll be able to take better pictures if you shoot in aperture priority at least you're able to control your depth of field and you won't have to worry about your iso shutter speed etc because your depth of field is in control and as i said aperture is one of the most important camera settings so as long as you can control your aperture your shutter and iso doesn't really matter the truth is you can also can also change your iso in, in aperture priority and lock your iso so also as a setting so you can change your iso and your aperture and then your shutter speed will be based on those two settings i believe that aperture priority reduces your risk of missing exposure getting the wrong exposure now you don't have to do guesswork now you actually know that you know you got the shot you know that you know that you know because you've set your aperture and you know that your camera is going to handle the rest and you don't have to rely on yourself you can rely on your camera so while manual mode offers complete control over your images aperture priority gives you just the step before full manual because you're able to control a lot of the most important key settings in your camera without having to worry about not getting everything correct and that's why you need to use aperture priority if